Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome everybody to Red Sandbar Adventures. Today I'm going to show you exactly what it takes to catch one of these beautiful, majestic animals. Follow me. All right, ladies and gents, here we have the weapon of choice, a big ball rifle. I'll run you through some of the parts of it. Here we have the glowing iron sight. Zoom in there. Yep. The bolt assembly. And of course, the bullets. Now, what you do, you take a bullet and you put it in the bullet hole. And now that the bullet is in the chamber, you close the bolt. Bolt's closed. That baby is hot and cooking. All right, ladies and gents, what we've got here is called a deer burrow. Now what the deers do is they back up into it, have their antlers just poking out the top. And what they do, they wait there for small marsupials, such as rabbits and cats, to come along and they trap them in their antlers. And then when they're, they're trapped in there, they die and then they have a breakfast ready. Me and Reese have quite a lot of fun out here in the wild. And this is just one particular instant where we have a close encounter with a big buck. Jesus Christ! What was it? Oh, nothing. Oh, fuck! Christ! Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, what we've got here is called a rub tree. Now, what the deers do, right, they come up with their horns and they're sort of really silky and they flop around like a dirty old gumboot. And, like, they rub them on the tree to get, like, the barnacles off their horns. But, like, as you can see, He's rubbed, the he's rubbed the absolute fuck out of this one and he's chopped it clean in half. Let's move on. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, a samba deer has come through here and he's dug himself a little hole. Now, what they do with that is they dig a hole and they regurgitate their food up to save it for the winter, you know, in the later months, like December and April. And then when, like... He's done that, and then he goes and hibernates, and when he wakes up, he's got like a feed ready to go. Let's move on. All right, ladies and gents, you've decided you want to go hunting, and of course, you're going to need a good bag. Me and my mate Reese here are going to run you through some of the essentials that we put in our day packs. Let's have a look. Right, straight off the bat, it's going to get cold out there. So... Firewood, you need that. Number one, you can't go without firewood. What else we got in there, Reese? Get that out and have a look. All right, we've got, uh, of course, bolt cutters. Bolties. Just in case you need to get into your neighbour's property and they have a good fence. Yep. All right. All the time, that happens. Um, what else we got? You need that, oh, then. oh, the level. Yep. That's that's to put his fence back up when you're done. We come back through with the level. Uh, yeah, we've got. Um, We've got oh, this grease gun grease here. Gun. Fuck me. You're going to need this if your bolt gets stuck on your large bore rifle. Yep. No. Essential. It's smoothing that shit out. And of course, and of course, you're going to need a good foot pump. You know, it's going to get hot out there. It gets hot as fuck walking up and down these hills. So what you just get them any cycle store, bike store will have these. Put it on the ground there. Point that at the face and that's brisk. That is feeling fantastic. I'm, I already feel better. What else we got? We What's all that? know what this is. This oh. is a can of WD-40 in case your grease gun gets stuck. Bit of cat's piss. Get the levers going, I understand. What else we got in here? Ah, oh, two, the two-stroke oil. Couldn't go now, anywhere without it. No, nah, it wouldn't leave without it. Now, we use this to, if we, like, get lost. We need to just start smoke signals. We start a fire and tip a shit ton of this all over the fire. That gets, like, a nice plume going. And then we just use a piece of canvas just to do like smoke signals, the SOS and um, all that. What's this for, Daniel? Oh, the tape. That's my the special secret, that. But I'm going to let you guys in on it today. What is it? Now, people usually, when they catch a samba deers or the red samba, they'll measure the antlers. I measure the penis. And then you're right to go. 